Monday the 26th of May, 180 tram enthusiasts travelled on the last T68 tram journey with money raised donated to the Christie and Francis House. The journey took in the classic Metrolink routes of Piccadilly, Eccles, Bury and finally Alteringham. One of the T68 trams, 1007, will be retired to the Heaton Park Tramway Museum after being donated by Metrolink. For the time being it will be housed as a static exhibition with hopes to build track through the park on which it would run in the future. 1007 was presented to Manchester Transport Museum Society during a short ceremony at Heaton Park Tram Stop, which is approximately half a mile from the Heaton Park Tramway Museum. And Andrew, can I thank you on behalf of Heaton Park Tramway very much for uh, you're looking after the new system and I'll be looking after the old in some ways, but this is going to be looked after and well preserved so the T68 do survive. The trams were driven by the same drivers who drove the first ever trips wearing their original Metrolink uniforms and onboard announcements were made by Carla Taylor who does the pre-recorded announcements heard on the trams. After departing Altrincham for the final time the vehicle fell silent as passengers reflected on the significance of the day's event and at around half three the double unit consisting of 1007 and 1016 made its final trip into Piccadilly Undercroft, leaving shortly afterwards on its last trip back to the depot. The T68 trams have been replaced with a new fleet of yellow M5000 trams due to unreliability and corrosion underneath the vehicles. The new trams are also able to run on all of the routes which gives Metrolink more flexibility in operations as it continues to expand its network across the city. Thanks to the preservation of 1007, the fleet of T68s will long be remembered and this particular vehicle will be preserved for future generations.